and welcome to Fit By List. My name is Alyssa and I am a certified personal trainer. This is a butt lift and slim thigh Pilates workout. You don't need any equipment for this, just a mat and a little bit of space. We are going to tone up those legs and that booty. So if you're ready, let's go right ahead and get into it. To get started, we are going to warm up those legs. So get into a reclined position on the mat and we're going to lift one leg up, give it a couple of pulses and then switch it up. We're also going to activate our abs here, keep switching back and forth, which will allow us to activate our glutes even more. Stretch out those hamstrings, point those toes, make it nice and pretty. Great job, keep going. And slide it on down to your back. We are going to open and cross those legs like scissors. Stretching out those inner thighs, creating some warmth in the body. Straighten those legs, we're going to bend and straighten. Working into those quads just a little bit. A few more and then we're all warmed up. A couple circles with those ankles. And we are ready to go. So we're going to stay on our back here and come into a glute bridge position. So to get into that, you wanna be able to just barely touch those heels, have them hip width apart, press up, squeeze into your glutes. And we're going to go up and down, up and down, squeezing those butt cheeks together, activating those glute muscles, pressing into the heels of your feet, Stitching those ribs together, keeping your abdomen engaged. Pressing up and down. You want to feel this in the booty and those hamstrings just a little bit. Breathe through it, up and down, up and down, squeezing into those muscles. I want you to focus on keeping your core engaged while we do all of these movements. I will remind you throughout. You got it, keep going. Give me 10 more of these. Last six, you got it, keep going. Four, three, two, one, squeeze at the top. We are going to bring those knees together and open it back up. Close and open. Close and open, squeezing those thighs, squeezing those knees together, working those inner thighs. Working those adductor muscles, pressing into those heels still. I know this one burns, it is not a big range of motion, but it is definitely working you hard, keep going. Breathe through it, remember to keep those abs engaged, your ribs stitched together. Squeeze and open, 10 more of these. I know you can do it. Five more, four, three, two, and one, no rest. Bring those feet together. You're going to lift your left leg up, point that toe, and you're going to hinge at the hips, bring that leg down, and lift it back up, keeping that butt up off of the mat. You can do it. Embrace that burn. That is what is making you stronger. That's how you know this is working. Keep going. Five more. Three, two, and one. Lower your butt down for just a second and lift it back up. Ten of these. Eight. Seven, point that toe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Quick little stretch here. Lift those legs back. Give them a little tug, give them a little hug. Bend those knees. Back into that position. Make sure you can touch those heels together. Plant with that left leg. Right leg goes up this time. Bring it down and lift it up. 
down and up. Keep that butt up off the mat, ribs stitched together, and a smile on your face, of course. You are doing great. Seven more of these. Four, three, press through that heel, two, and one, straighten it up. Lower your butt down, point that toe, lift it up. And down, up, and down. You got it, keep going, last eight. Seven, six, five, stay with me, I know you can do it. Two, and one, bend that knee, back into that glute bridge, lower, squeeze at the top, slowly lower it down. Now what we are going to do is work those hamstrings a little bit more, so step it out about a foot. You wanna be really on those ankles, or sorry, on those heels, and you're gonna lift it up. This time you're feeling it more in those hamstrings, the back of those thighs. You're gonna bring it down, down, up, and up. Keep going here. It's an up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, really squeezing at the top. Working into those hamstrings. Almost done with this glute bridge. And then we're going to flip it on over to our side. So make it count. Up, up, down, down. Squeeze that booty, squeeze those legs. Keep going. Really burning out those muscles. Making this workout work for us. Lifting that booty, slimming those thighs up. Five more. Last three, last two, last one, make it count. And bring it down. Great job. Bring one leg up, give it a little tug and switch. Rolling on over to our side. You're gonna start with that inner thigh. So I'm gonna work my left leg right now, depending on which side you're on, it's the leg closest to the mat. And you're going to lift it up, lower it down. Lift and lower. If you did my thigh slimming Pilates, you are familiar with the burn of this move. It looks easy, but if you are doing it right, engaging the right muscles, it is going to really burn. Great job. You got it, point that toe, squeeze those muscles. A few more here, and then we are going to pulse it out on the top. Two, and one, lift it up little pulses at the top, working that inner thigh. You got it. Strengthening those muscles, toning it up, burning those calories, you got it. Give me 12 more. Eight, seven, six, keep it up even higher. Four, three, two, and one, lower it down up onto that forearm. We're working the outside of that right leg this time. So the higher leg, you're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. Guess what? This is also going to trim out that waist. You are doing great. Breathe through that burn. Lift and lower, point that toe. Stay with me here. A few more, then we're going to pulse it out on the top. You already know. Two, and one, up and high. Little pulses on top. If you feel like taking it up a notch, you can also do little circles. Wherever you are at, as long as you are pushing yourself hard. Keep going, breathe through the burn. Five, four, three, two, and one. Kick it forward, bring it back. Forward and back. You got it, I know you do. Nice and strong in those muscles, nice and controlled. Five, four, last three, two, 
and one. Tap that foot, lift it up. Tap that foot, lift it up. Ooh, burning that side booty. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up onto that hand. We're going to do uh, clamshell lifts with that same leg. So point that toe, keep it bent. We're going to lift it up, squeeze into that side booty, lower it down. Lift and lower, lift and lower. It's like a super set to that last move we just did. Now you can always grab ankle weights for this workout too if you want it to make it a little bit harder. All of these moves, they can be done while you're watching TV. Nice and simple, maybe while you're reading a book. Work those thighs. Keep going, point that toe. If your legs are shaking, that is okay. That is a good thing. If you feel that burn, that's just a buildup of lactic acid. It's those muscle fibers uh, breaking down and building back stronger. Keep your abs tight. We've got eight more of these. Lift up as high as you can. Four, three, two, one, lift it, straighten, lower it down, flip on over to that other side. We're gonna do the same thing. So with that inner thigh, you're gonna lift and lower, point that toe. You can do it. We're halfway through that second series. We've only got one more series to go after this. Point that toe. Make it pretty, breathe through the burn, smile. Great work, stay strong, stay with me. Eight more of these. Five, four, three, two, and one, you guessed it, pulse it out right at the top, right where it burns the most, that is where you live. Stay with me. Think about how nice and toned, long and lean those legs are gonna look after this. Your butt is gonna be so lifted, those thighs so slim. 10, nine, keep it up as high as you can. Last three, two, and one, hold it. Lower it down, up onto that forearm. We've got that outer thigh, those abductor muscles. Lift it up and lower, point that toe. Straight leg, nice and pretty like a ballerina. Squeeze into those muscles, flex those legs. Keep your eyes straight ahead. You don't want to be twisting your neck. Once again, you are working that waist, working those obliques. By the way, if you did want to work your obliques a little bit more, I do have a waist slimming workout that you can check out. I can link that down below for you if you are interested. Eight more, and then you're going to pulse it up on the top. Four. Three, two, and one, pulse it up. Once again, you have that option to do little circles if that suits you. Otherwise, you stay with me with those little pulses. Keep that toe pointed. Those legs nice and strong. Ten more seconds here. Stay with me. Keep that leg straight. Five, four, three, two, and one. You know what to do. Kick it forward and back. Forward and back. Stay strong. You got it. All the way in front of you. All the way back. Using those quads to kick it forward and those hamstrings to control it back behind you, make that mind to muscle connection. Squeeze those calves as you point that toe. Five, last four, 
three, you got it, two, and one. Tap and lift, tap and lift. Stay with me. I know you can do it. We're almost to that little break. Make it count here. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it. Straighten it back out. Come on up to that seated position. We got those clam lifts. So you're going to lift and up. Lift and tap, barely tapping it down. Keep that ankle at the same height as your knee. Challenging yourself to keep your abs in tight. Remember that is how you engage your booty a little bit more. It all works together. That leg is shaking. That is a good thing. Do not be scared of that. 12 more of these. Last four, three, two, and one. Straighten, lower it down. Come into a tabletop position. Widen those knees, heels together. Slide it back into a child's pose. Little stretch, little break. Before we get into that last series. Walk your hands over to the left. Send your booty over to the right. And switch, lock those hands to the right, booty over to the left. Back to the center and tabletop. This is where we really burn it out. So we are going to start with that left leg. We're gonna send it out to the side and we're gonna do rainbows. So it's so important you keep your abs engaged. The only thing that should be moving is that leg. You're gonna lift it up and around, up as high as you can, the biggest rainbow you can make. And that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow is going to be how great you look and feel after this workout. Keep going all the way up and around. You may even feel this in that stabilizing leg. That is okay. That is because it is working hard to keep you balanced. And we've already burned it out so much, especially with those clam lifts. Up and around, up and around. Last three, last two, last one. Bend that knee. We're gonna do circles with that knee bent as big as you can. Point that toe. Five, four, three, two, and one, reverse those circles, go in that opposite direction. Three, two, and one. From here, look right down at the mat, keep that neck in line with that spine. You're gonna lift it up in a fire hydrant and lower it down. Up and down, once again, working into that side booty. I know it burns. Do not quit on me. We are getting so close to the end of this workout. Eyes right down on the mat. The only thing moving is that leg. Try to get that knee up all the way to hip level. Give me six more of these. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it up and kick. Bend, lower. So lift in a fire hydrant, kick it out, bend, lower it down. It's a fire hydrant, kick, bend, and lower. Stay with me, keep that good, controlled pace. Give me eight more of these. Keep your body straight, nice and controlled. Five more, keep that toe pointed. Last four, last three, two, and last one, make it count, lift, hold it. Then lower it down. Come on down to those forearms. We are going to donkey kick. So point that toe, lift it up and down, up and down. 
Now you may need to experience, uh, experiment with what will engage your booty a little bit more. Sometimes flexing your foot works for some people. Sometimes pointing your foot, whatever allows you to make that mind to muscle connection. Lift and lower. Almost to the end here. Six more. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna finish this off with 12 straight leg kicks. Keep going. Keep your abs engaged. Eight, seven, six. We kick it up as high as you can. Last four, three, two, and one. Hold it. Lower it down. Back into that child's pose. Maybe rock side to side. Back up. We're going right into that other side. So remember, you straighten that leg. We've got those rainbow kicks. All the way up, all the way down. Remember that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? Remember how good you are going to feel after this? Because I promise you will feel good. A little sore, but definitely good. Make sure you drink lots of water after this. You get a good meal. You want lots of protein. Keep going. Keep your body nice and tight, nice and controlled. I know that stabilizing leg is tired. You just gotta work a little extra hard here. Give me eight more of these. Last five. Four. Stay with me for three more. Two. Last one. All right, you know what to do. Circles with that knee bent. Here we go. Big, huge circles here. Drawing a big circle with that kneecap. Three more. And one. Switch directions. Three, two, and one. Keep that knee bent. We've got those fire hydrants. So lift and lower. Lift and lower into that side booty. Stay with me, stay nice and strong. You are a lean, mean, fire hydrant machine. Does that make sense? Abs nice and tight. Got 10 more of these. Eight, seven, keep that smile on your face, eyes right down at the mat. Four, three, two, and one. Do you remember what's next? Fire hydrant, kick, bend, and lower. Lift, kick, bend, and lower. Keep going just like that. Keep your eyes right down at the mat. Your hips nice and steady. Four more of these. Last three, two, and last one. Hold it. Lower it down and back down to those forearms. We've got those donkey kicks up and down. Here we go. Point that toe or flex that foot, whatever works for you. As long as you're keeping your abs tight, the only thing moving is those legs. So close. Ten more of these. Finishing it off, straight leg, kick up and down, up and down with control as high as you can. Eight more, seven, last six, keep smiling. Five, four, three, two, one, lift and hold it. Lower it down, one more child's pose, send it back. We are going to stretch it out.
and lift it up. Come onto your butt. Point and flex those feet. Cross your left leg on top of your right. Arms up and fold it down, feeling that extension through the entire back of that bottom leg. With every exhale, get a little deeper into that stretch. Lift and switch. Right leg over that left, arms up, fold it down. Nice and deep into that stretch. You may feel a little shaken in those legs, that's okay. We really burned it out. Those slow twitch muscles. Breathe into that stretch. Lift it up. And we are going to come into a figure four. So bring that left ankle to that right knee. Scoot your butt in tight. And rock side to side as you get deeper into that stretch. can hold it steady if that's better for you. And scoot it back, switch it out. If you're still feeling really tight after this, I have a couple of stretching videos that I can link down below as well. If you wanna get a little extra stretch in. Scoot it back, heels together. You're gonna pull the soles of your feet apart as those elbows come down onto your shins and then you're going to bend it forward. Straight back here. Lift it up, one more big breath into your nose and let it all out. Great job. Thanks for joining me for this butt and legs Pilates workout. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this and give this video a thumbs up. You can also ring that notification bell if you want to be notified whenever my workouts go up. I put out new workouts Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 10 a.m. And leave me a comment letting me know what you thought or any workout suggestions you want to see in the future. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one.